Hi, my name is Dave. Today we're going to look at the charming C5 telescope. It's a classic from about 1979 or so. They made these scopes uh, about the same time they were making the orange C8s. So this is a, uh, a little sibling to the orange C8 from that period. And this one has an equally uh, illustrious reputation as being a very fine telescope optically like all Celestron scopes of the era, fairly simple. There's a couple of uh, synchronous motor drives in the, in the base, but that's about it. Very simple kind of telescope. This one came fitted originally with 965 uh, accessories, but it's very easy to change that. The little 5x24 finder is just barely big enough to function, but it does allow you to swing the telescope through the base so there's no interference problem, and of course put it in its case. This one is uh, mounted on a wedge. This wedge could be used either on a tripod or on a table like this. The earlier ones came with a really funky little interesting wedge system that was uh, dedicated for table mount. As you can see, the C5 is an almost perfect model of the Big Brother C8. This is identical. And the base is identical. The, the difference changes right here at the arms. The arms, of course, are shorter and so forth. Everything here is the same. They have the same threads on the uh, back end. They also have the same focuser knob, same knobs down here. This is a replacement knob here. So everything is identical. As a matter of fact, the instructions for these two scopes are unified. So you get the same set of instructions for either scope. The bases of the two scopes are identical. They have two synchronous motors. They come with the same obsolete plug. The C8 comes with an identification plaque down here. And on the C5, the identification is up here. Little difference, that just happened over a few years. Here's a C5 next to a Questar 3.5. And, and some of the early literature advertising the C5, they seem to indicate that it was a portable observatory just like the Quest Star, uh, only this is five inches and that's three and a half inches. So I think they were kind of making a little bit of a run at Quest Star. That uh, inch and a half more aperture really does make a difference at the eyepiece. And as you can see, even when you fold it out, the difference in size is pretty negligible. Which one's more portable? Clearly this one, but how much more portable? This is pretty good. These two telescopes are nominally equal. They're both five inches. They both have central obstructions of about 30%. So these telescopes will give you just about the same performance. Uh, however, I want you to notice that this thing, that's pretty nice and light, not too bad. This thing weighs a ton. This is a Maksutov. Now Maksutovs, of course, have the great big thick piece of glass here in the front and that, that tends to grow exponentially. Uh, the weight of a Maksutov as they get bigger, I had a seven inch once that was a, it was a monster. A five inch Maksutov is a pretty big telescope. This one you get the telescope and the mount and it's about the same weight, about the same handling uh, characteristics as uh, just the OTA here. So of course this does have a nice big 50 millimeter finder, that's a nice offset. Uh, on this particular one, I kind of, you know, I'm kind of being a little bit unfair because this has got this great big clunky thing on the back. Um, they were trying to imitate Questar and Quantum by putting a little flip mirror inside there. Unfortunately, that's all they put in there. So you got a huge housing back here but <laughs> not much in there in terms of guts. That's just a comparison to give you an idea of how nice and light and what a compact package this one is. To illustrate my point even further, here are a couple of Maksutovs. It's a four inch Maksutov, a five inch Maksutov, just the OTA. Look at the size difference. This is a four inch Schmidt Cassegrain, five inch Schmidt Cassegrain. The Schmidt Cassegrains, at, at least above maybe four inches, three and a half, four inches, start to become much more compact, relatively speaking, compared to the uh, Maksutovs.
I hope you've enjoyed having a look at the C5 telescope from the 1970s. Thank you for watching.